The Aral Sea was once the fourth largest lake in the world, nestled between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. It teemed with fish, supported thriving communities, and moderated the region's climate. But in the 1960s, massive Soviet irrigation projects began diverting the rivers that fed it to grow cotton in the desert, dubbed white gold. Within decades, the sea began to vanish. By the 2000s, over 90% of it was gone. Fishing towns became stranded in desert. Winds blew toxic dust from the exposed seabed, laced with salt and pesticides, spreading illness and accelerating climate shifts in the region. This environmental catastrophe became one of the starkest examples of unsustainable water management. But not all hope is lost. Kazakhstan built the Kokaral Dam in 2005, reviving part of the North Aral Sea. Fish have returned, so have jobs. Smarter irrigation, line canals, drip systems, and crop shifts away from thirsty cotton are helping conserve water, and there's more. Vast planting of saxol trees on the dry seabed is reducing toxic dust storms. These are small wins, but they prove recovery is possible. The Aral Sea disaster teaches us a critical lesson. Water is not infinite. In other regions, from California to the Nile Basin, similar patterns of overuse and poor planning are unfolding. We must rethink how we use water, grow food, and plan development. Solutions exist. Efficient irrigation, regional cooperation, crop diversification, and protecting wetlands. The science is clear. What's needed now is political will and public awareness. The RLC reminds us of what we stand to lose, but also what we can regain if we act wisely. Let's not repeat the same mistake. Share the story. The next sea we save might be closer than you think.